there are other ways to predict success other than just test scores. The transcript um, coupled with um, obviously teacher recommendations, a counselor recommendation, an essay, and then the other sort of personalized components. And so when we're looking at prospective applicants and we see that student who is intellectually curious and willing to participate in class, I think that really is uh, the, the quality that, that is at the top of our list when we're, when we're looking at students. The more we can sort of see you as an individual and in how you would contribute to our community, um, I think the better um, we're able to assess you as, as an applicant. There is an opportunity to be able to write an essay that talks about why is Trinity a place that's for you. We continue to, to look for students who um, are going to be actively engaged. Do they truly want to be here? And that's what we're looking for. I still to this day remember driving and parking up on Summit Street and walking down the path to the admissions building and, and just saying like, wow, like, this is what a college should feel like. Um, and so that's really what brought me to Trinity. So when I saw the Inner Arts program online, I was really interested and I could see myself um, taking advantage of a liberal arts education. With a liberal arts education, um, I think students uh, are so exposed to so many different disciplines and understand that there, there are, are connections between each. And as someone, I, I'm, I'm a Trinity alum and, and that's at the end of the day what drew me here. I chose Trinity because I really like the studies program and I was looking for a smaller school with an urban campus. Trinity is unique in that it's a small liberal arts school that is in a city. There is a range of opportunities for them both inside the classroom, but there are also a range of opportunities that they can connect outside the classroom. I also knew I wanted to have small class sizes. That was the best way for me to learn, was to be able to ask questions and to participate. The size is its strength. At bigger institutions, sometimes students get lost or students are kind of left on their own. Here, students can really plug in and they can usually find someone who is ready, willing, and able to help them really find their path. Um, there are a lot of doors that can be opened by just saying, hey, like, I want to do this. How can I make that happen? I work with students at the college to figure out what is the right fit for them throughout their experience. So whether they're struggling or whether they're looking for more challenge research opportunities, I'm the person that they come to see. The students who really stand out to me, who have thrived, um, are folks who really weren't afraid um, to take some risks. My freshman year, I was pretty decided person and I knew that I was going to become a doctor, go right into med school and was exposed to a liberal arts education where I could pretty much study whatever I wanted and decided I could not become a doctor and my future was in entrepreneurial studies and bettering the world through my development of, and in my own experience, it's apps. I was in a studies program as a freshman. I took my first architectural history class and I was set. I knew that architecture was definitely something I wanted to study. At first I was kind of nervous because architecture does require a lot of art as well as math and physics. I was looking for some kind of encouragement. One of my professors came up to me and she told me, you know what, you've got the eye for it, just go for it. And so I did. And I declared an art history major and architectural studies minor. I think students need to find what I refer to as anchors on campus so that they know that they have a sense of belonging. You know, to what degree do you feel connected to the institution. I would say that what Trinity would allow me to do was get into an environment with other leaders and grow in that environment and kind of establish myself as not just you know another student but also grow into that leadership position among all these other leaders. I am the junior class president. Um, I also sit in the budget committee which reallocates um, the money for students and I am a first year mentor um, for a first year seminar. So I became interested in the International House my freshman year and I was the first year representative for the International House at that time. And then I ran for the president position end of junior year and I was elected as the president and that was a great moment because International House had given a lot to me during my freshman sophomore year. So I'm one of the student admissions associates. So there's 24 seniors who were trained by the admissions staff to conduct interviews and information sessions for prospective students and their families. So it's great to meet all the new students and kind of see what awesome things people are doing, but um, I love talking about the school. It's cool to be able to, to tell all these prospective students and families that I can feel what I felt when I first walked onto campus, how I've taken that feeling and turned it into you know this awesome experience that I will always remember. That's probably the best thing that, that I get to do. It's a great capstone to 
to my time here at Trinity. The experiences at Trinity have made me a very well-rounded person, ready to face the real world. It's not a bubble environment where you'll only be okay here. As soon as you leave, the skills that you get here are gonna go with you for the rest of your life.